we have to play relaxed, get the ball inside, cannot get in foul trouble, and we have to play good defense. Marshall County has an excellent ball club, tremendous shooters, especially one of their players, so we have to play excellent defense. Has to be a good feeling for you coming back to the Sweet 16. Oh, it's great. You know, we've had a good time. But we're staying up here. We're taking in the whole thing. We're still getting our rest. Uh, I think it's a motivating factor for kids to be part of this. This is part of the greatest thing on earth, and, and we love every minute of it. I saw you age 20 years over there on the bench tonight. Well, I feel 80. I tell you, it was a good ball game. It was both teams are up and down the floor, hard play. Uh, they got a good ball club. Russ, I know you're the type of coach that likes to see your team take its time, but the last few games they've really been successful with a run. Yeah, I'm better off not coaching them. I'm trying to slow them down. I'm just let them run, and we win. We win. We get beat. We get beat. You came in here, you've got that Cinderella look now. Everybody in this place is going to be yeah. pulling for you tonight. What do you think about well, this? Well, we'll do the best we can. That's all we've got. We're here. We're going to be runner or runner up, one of the two. And Logan's a great ball club and great, you know, well coached. They beat us, you know, more to them. I guess you're hoping he's got one more left in Yeah, one more. <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> I told him I want you to shoot nobody else. Bourbon County led most of the first half due to the outside shooting of Jeff Graves, who led the Colonels with 21 points. That was until Fred Tisdale decided to take matters into his own hands. This lay-in gave Logan County its first lead at 27-25. The 6'7'' senior did everything, including ignite the Rupp Arena crowd with this slam. The Cougars led 39-38 at the intermission. Tisdale continued his heroics in the second half, getting two of his game-high 29 on the stuff, helping his team to an 11-point lead. But Bourbon County fought back. Jeff Royce takes it coast-to-coast coast for the layup, and the Colonels had cut the lead to five at the end of three. But Tisdale and company were just too much. Stacy Mason gets the easy two, and the Cougars coasted to a 13-point victory, 83-70, and the 1984 state championship. This will go down in history as one of the most exciting Sweet 16 tournaments ever. And needless to say, a very special one for Logan County and head coach Gerald Sinclair. Coming up here, I didn't know whether they had a chance or not. I knew it was close. But as time went on, as we went to close games, and I felt like the kids were confident, they were gaining their confidence, momentum and everything, and that, that carried us over tonight, I believe. You can think about the long season, I guess, and how long, it's, how long far it took to get here. How tired you are, but it, you don't feel it, really, I guess.